The Bean Heart, another classic pattern just for you, but this time revamped. Hopefully this tutorial will make it easier for you to create. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Here's a list of everything you need to make the bead heart. Start out by taking your string, matching up the ends, and making a loop on the other end of the string. You're going to take a keychain ring, and you'll stick a loop inside of a keychain ring. You'll take your two matched ends of string, and you're going to run those through the loop. While holding the keychain ring and pulling the string, you'll create a knot. This is what the knot should look like. Now that we have two ends of string to use, we're going to take one end of the string and we're going to add a single bead to that string. We're going to take our other end of string and we're going to run it through that bead as well, going in the opposite direction. When you get that string through the bead, you're going to pull both ends of the strings until you've reached the top. Now that we have the first bead on, it's time to create the top of the heart. You'll take one end of the string, and we're going to add five beads total to that string. That's two pink beads and three white beads. Once you have all of those beads on that string, you're going to run them to the top. Using that same end of string, you're going to run it back through the first three beads added on that string with the string going in the direction away from the pattern. It's almost like making a loop. That string will be running through the two pink beads and a single white bead. Once you get that string through all three of those beads, you're going to hold those three beads in place, pull the string tight until the beads come together. This is what the first half should look like. Now it's time to create the other half of the top of the heart. Take the other end of string and add five beads on that string. That's two pink and three whites on the end and run them to the top. Using the same steps as before, take that same end of string and you're gonna run it back through the first three beads added to that string with the string going in the direction away from the pattern. Remember, the string should be going through the two pink beads and the white bead. Once you get the string through those beads, don't forget to hold the three beads down in place, pull the string until the beads come together. Now that the top half is created, take a toothpick and run it through all seven beads in a line, making this the first row of seven. This will also hold it all together. Once you get the stick through all the beads, don't forget to break off the ends of the stick to keep the stick from showing through the sides. Once you have this part completed, it's time to go back to using both ends of the strings to make rows. By adding your beads to one end of the string, taking your other end of string, and running it through your beads as well, going in the opposite direction, getting your string through all of those beads, and pulling both ends of the string until you've reached the top. So just keep repeating these steps, follow the pattern, and create additional rows. So as you can see, from this point on, the pattern is pretty simple. With a blend of several colors to make it stand out. Let me know in the comments below of what you think about this color scheme. And if you decide to use a different color, feel free to share it in the comments below as well. So what colors do you think look best? That's entirely up to you. Once you finish the seventh and final row, it's time to tie up the ends together by matching up the two ends of string, wrapping them around, creating a loop, running those matched ends of string through the loop, pulling the string, and tightening the knot to keep those beads locked in place. Be sure your knot is tight and secure before cutting the string. 
cut off the tied loose ends of string and your heart is complete. And there you have it, another classic pattern I'm glad to share with you all once again. I hope you all found this video helpful and enjoyed this tutorial. Continue to spread the love and share this with some of your friends. Anything you'd like to say? Don't be afraid to leave a comment below. And if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget you can also subscribe if you want to be notified for more videos like this one. So remember to love yourself as well as others, and I'll see you all in the next one. Love y'all.